The determination of the day of the week for any date may be performed with a variety of algorithms. In addition, perpetual calendars require no calculation by the user, and are essentially lookup tables. A typical application is to calculate the day of the week on which someone was born or a specific event occurred. Concepts In numerical calculation, the days of the week are represented as weekday numbers. If Monday is the first day of the week, the days may be coded 1 to 7, for Monday through Sunday, as is practiced in ISO 8601. The day designated with the 7th of May also be counted as 0, by applying the arithmetic modulo 7, which calculates the remainder of a number after division by 7. Thus, the number 7 is treated as 0, 8 is 1, 9 is 2, 18 is 4 and so on. If Sunday is counted as day 1, then 7 days later .e. day eight, is also a Sunday, and day 18 is the same as day 4, which is a Wednesday since this falls three days after Sunday. The basic approach of nearly all of the methods to calculate the day of the week begins by starting from an anchor date, a known pair such as January 1, 1800 as a Wednesday, determining the number of days between the known day and the day that you are trying to determine, and using arithmetic modulo 7 to find a new numerical day of the week. One standard approach is to look up or calculate using a known rule, the value of the first day of the week of a given century. Look up or calculate using a method of congruence, an adjustment for the month. Calculate the number of leap years since the start of the century and then add these together along with the number of years since the start of the century and the day number of the month. Eventually, one ends up with a day count to which one applies modulo 7 to determine the day of the week of the date. Some methods do all the additions first and then cast out sevens, whereas others cast them out at each step, as in Lewis Carroll's method. Either way is quite viable, the former is easier for calculators and computer programs, the latter for mental calculation it is quite possible to do all the calculations in one's head with a little practice. None of the methods given here perform range checks, so unreasonable dates will produce erroneous results. Corresponding days Every seventh day in a month has the same name as the previous. Corresponding months Corresponding months are those months within the calendar year that start on the same day of the week. For example, September and December correspond, because September 1 falls on the same day as December 1. Months can only correspond if the number of days between their first days is divisible by seven, or in other words, if their first days are a whole number of weeks apart. For example, February of a common year corresponds to March because February has 28 days, a number divisible by 7, 28 days being exactly 4 weeks. In a leap year, January and February correspond to different months than in a common year, since adding February 29 means each subsequent month starts a day later. The months correspond thus For common years January and October February, March and November April and July. No month corresponds to August, for leap years January, April and July. February and August. March and November. No month corresponds to October, for all years September and December. No month corresponds to May or June. In the months table below, corresponding months have the same number, a fact which follows directly from the definition. Topic: Corresponding years. There are seven possible days that a year can start on, and leap years will alter the day of the week after February 29. This means that there are 14 configurations that a year can have. All the configurations can be referenced by a dominical letter, but as February 29 has no letter allocated to it, a leap year has two dominical letters, one for January and February, and the other one step back in the alphabetical sequence for March to December. For example, 2018 is a common year starting on Monday, meaning that 2018 corresponds to the 2007 calendar year, and with the last ten months corresponds to the 2012 calendar year. 
On the other hand, 2019 is a common year starting on Tuesday, meaning that 2019 corresponds to the 2013 calendar year. 2020 is a leap year starting on Wednesday, meaning that 2020 corresponds to the 1992 calendar year, meaning that the first two months of the year begin on the same day as they do in 2014 i.e. January 1 as a Wednesday and February 1 as a Saturday but because of a leap day the last ten months correspond to the last ten months in 2015 i.e. March 1 as a Sunday to December 31 as a Thursday, 2021 is a common year starting on Friday, meaning that 2021 corresponds to the 2010 calendar year and with the first two months corresponds to the 2016 calendar year. 2022 is a common year starting on Saturday, meaning that 2022 corresponds to the 2011 calendar year and with the last ten months corresponds to the 2016 calendar year. For details see the table below. Notes Black means the all months of common year Red means the first two months of leap year Blue means the last 10 months of leap year. Topic: Corresponding centuries. See the table below. The Julian starts on Thursday and the Gregorian on Saturday. Topic: Tabular methods to calculate the day of the week. Topic: Complete table, Julian and Gregorian calendars. For Julian dates before 1300 and after 1999, the year in the table which differs by an exact multiple of 700 years should be used. For Gregorian dates after 2299, the year in the table which differs by an exact multiple of 400 years should be used. The values R0 through R6. Indicate the remainder when the hundreds value is divided by 7 and 4 respectively, indicating how the series extend in either direction. Both Julian and Gregorian values are shown 1500–1999 for convenience. Bold figures e denote leap year. If a year ends in 00 and its hundreds are in bold it is a leap year. Thus 19 indicates that 1900 is not a Gregorian leap year, but 19 in the Julian column indicates that it is a Julian leap year, as are all Julian XOO years. 20 indicates that 2000 is a leap year. Use Jan and February only in leap years. For determination of the day of the week the 1st of January 2000, Saturday. The day of the month, 1 to 31 1. The month, 6 The year, 0 the century mod 4 for the Gregorian calendar and mod 7 for the Julian calendar DW, SA Adding SA plus 1 plus 6 plus 0 equals SA plus 7. Dividing by 7 leaves a remainder of 0, so the day of the week is Saturday, for determination of the dominical letter 2000, BA. The century DL, A The year, 0 Subtracting A0 equals A for determination of the doomsday 2000 tuesday the century dd 2 the year 0 adding 2 plus 0 equals tuesday equals topic revised julian calendar equals Note that the date and hence the day of the week in the revised Julian and Gregorian calendars is the same from the 14th of October 1923 to the 28th of February AD 2800 inclusive and that for large years it may be possible to subtract 6300 or a multiple thereof before starting so as to reach a year which is within or closer to the table. To look up the weekday of any date for any year using the table, subtract 100 from the year, divide the difference by 100, multiply the resulting quotient omitting fractions by 7 and divide the product by 9. Note the quotient omitting fractions. Enter the table with the Julian year, and just before the final division add 50 and subtract the quotient noted above. Example, what is the day of the week of 27 January 8315? 
8315 minus 6300 equals 2015, 2015 minus 100 equals 1915, 1915 one hundredths equals 19 remainder 15, 19 times 7 equals 133, 133 ninths equals 14 remainder 7. 2015 is 700 years ahead of 1315, so 1315 is used. From table, for hundreds 13, 6. For remaining digits 15, 4. For month January, 0. For date 27, 27. 6 plus 4 plus 0 plus 27 plus 50 minus 14 equals 73. 73 sevenths equals 10 remainder 3. Day of week. Equals Tuesday. Equals Topic. Dominical letter equals To find the dominical letter, calculate the day of the week for either the 1st of January or the 1st of October. If it is Sunday, the Sunday letter is A, if Saturday B, and similarly backwards through the week and forwards through the alphabet to Monday, which is G. Leap years have two Sunday letters, so for January and February calculate the day of the week for the 1st of January and for March to December calculate the day of the week for the 1st of October. Leap years are all years which divide exactly by four with the following exceptions In the Gregorian calendar, all years which divide exactly by 100 other than those which divide exactly by 400. In the revised Julian calendar, all years which divide exactly by 100 other than those which give remainder 200 or 600 when divided by 900. Check the result Use this table for finding the day of the week without any calculations. Examples for common method December 26, 1893 GD December is in row F and 26 is in column E, so the letter for the date is C located in row F and column E93 year mod 100 is in row D year row and the letter C in the year row is located in column G18 year 100 in the Gregorian century column is in row C century row and the letter in the century row and column G is B, so the day of the week is Tuesday. October 13, 1307 JD, October 13 is AF day. The letter F in the year row 07 is located in column G. The letter in the century row 13 and column G is E, so the day of the week is Friday. January 1, 2000 GD, January 1 corresponds to G, G in the year row 00 corresponds to F in the century row 20, and F corresponds to Saturday. A pithy formula for the method date letter g letter g is in year row 00 for the letter f in century row 20 and for the day the letter f become weekday saturday for modified dominical letter method 1783 september 18th gd u17 in the gregorian century row column c and 83 in row c to find the dominical letter that is e the letter for september 18th as b so the day of the week is thursday 1676, February 23, JD, non OS, U16 in the Julian century row, column E, and 76 in row D to find the dominical letter that is A. February 23 is a D day, so the day of the week is Wednesday. Mathematical algorithms Gauss's algorithm In a handwritten note in a collection of astronomical tables, Carl Friedrich Gauss described a method for calculating the day of the week for 1 January in any given year. He never published it. It was finally included in his collected works in 1927. Gauss' method was applicable to the Gregorian calendar. He numbered the weekdays from 0 to 6 starting with Sunday. He defined the following operation. The weekday of the 1st of January in year number A is R 1 plus 5 R A minus 1 4 plus 4 R A minus 1 100 
plus six R A minus one four hundred seven Display style R one plus five R A one four plus four R a minus one thousand one hundred plus six R a minus one thousand four hundred seven where R Y M Display style R Y M is the remainder after division of Y by M, or Y modulo M. This formula was also converted into graphical and tabular methods for calculating any day of the week by Krejcik and Schwertfeger. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Disparate variation. Another variation of the above algorithm likewise works with no lookup tables. A slight disadvantage is the unusual month and year counting convention. The formula is W equals d plus 2.6 m minus 0 0.2 plus y plus y 4 plus c 4 minus 2 c mod 7 Display style W equals left D plus L floor two point six meters minus zero point two R floor plus Y plus left L floor FRAC Y four right R floor plus left L floor FRAC C four right R floor two C right BMOD seven where Y is the year minus one for January or February, and the year for any other month. Y is the last two digits of Y C is the first two digits of Y. D is the day of the month, 1 to 31. M is the shifted month, March equals 1. February equals 12. W is the day of week, 0 equals Sunday. 6 equals Saturday. If W is negative, you have to add 7 to it. For example, January 1st, 2000. Year minus 1 for January. Note, the first is only for a 00 leap year and the second is for any 00 years. The term 2.6 m minus 0. 2 mod 7 gives the values of months, m. The term y plus y, 4 mod 7 gives the values of years, y. The term c, 4 minus 2 c mod 7 gives the values of centuries, c. Now from the general formula, w equals d plus m plus y plus c mod 7 display style w equals d plus m plus y plus c bmod 7 january 1st 2000 can be recalculated as follows topic krechik's variation Krejcik proposed two methods for calculating the day of the week. One is a graphical method. The other uses a formula that he credits to Gauss on p. 110. W equals d plus m plus c plus y mod 7 Display style W equals D plus M plus C plus Y BMOD seven, where W is the day of the week, counting upwards from one on Sunday instead of zero in Gauss's version, and D, M, C, and Y are numbers depending on the day, month, century, and year, which are tabulated in the complete table, Julian and Gregorian calendars. Above, note that the numbers tabulated for Y can also be described by the following equation: Y equals S four plus S mod seven display style y equals left left L floor frac S four right R floor plus S right B M O D seven where S is the last two digits of the year, i.e., if the year is nineteen eighty seven, S equals eighty seven. Y is 
So, for example, if you want to find y for the year 1987, y equals 87 4 plus 87 mod 7 equals 21 plus 87 mod 7 equals 108 mod 7 equals 3 display style begin aligned y and equals left left l floor frac 87 4 right r floor plus 87 right bmod 7 and equals 21 plus 87 bmod 7 and equals 108 bmod D seven and equals three end aligned. Topic Zeller's algorithm. In Zeller's algorithm, the months are numbered from three for March to fourteen for February. The year is assumed to begin in March. This means, for example, that January 1995 is to be treated as month thirteen of 1994. The formula for the Gregorian calendar is. W equals D plus thirteen M plus one five plus Y plus Y four plus C four minus two C mod seven Display style W equals left D plus left L floor FRAC thirteen M plus one five right R floor plus Y plus left L floor FRAC Y four right R floor plus left L floor FRAC C four right R floor two C right BMOD seven where Y is the year minus one for January or February, and the year for any other month Y is the last two digits of Y C is the first two digits of Y. D is the day of the month, 1 to 31. M is the shifted month, March equals 3. January equals 13. February equals 14. W is the day of week, 1 equals Sunday. 0 equals Saturday. The only difference is one between Zeller's algorithm Z and the Gaussian algorithm G. That is Z minus G. Topic one Sunday D plus M plus one two point six plus Y plus Y four plus C four minus two C Mod seven minus D plus two point six M minus zero point two plus Y plus Y four plus C four minus two C mod Seven Display style D plus L floor M plus one two point six R floor plus Y plus L floor Y four R floor plus L floor C four R floor two C BMOD seven D plus L floor two point six meters minus zero point two R floor plus Y plus L floor Y four R floor plus L floor C four R floor two C BMOD seven equals M plus 2 plus 1 2.6 minus 2.6 m minus 0.2 mod 7 Display style equals L floor m plus 2 plus 1 2.6 2.6 meters minus 0 2 r floor bmod 7 March Topic three in Z, but March one in G equals two point six M plus seven point eight minus two point six M plus zero point two mod 
7 display style equals l floor 2.6 meters plus 7.8 to 2.6 meters plus o 2 r floor bmod 7 equals 8 mod 7 equals 1 display style equals 8 bmod 7 equals 1 so we can get the values of months from those for the gaussian algorithm by adding 1 topic other algorithms topic schwarzfeger's method In a partly tabular method by Schwarzfeger, the year is split into the century and the two-digit year within the century. The approach depends on the month. For M3, C equals Y 100 and G equals Y minus 100 C. Display style c equals left l floor frac y 100 right r floor quad text and quad g equals y 100 c. So g is between 0 and 99. For m equals 1 2 c equals y minus 1 100 and g equals y minus 1 minus 100 c display style c equals left l floor frac y1 100 right r floor quad text and quad g equals y1 100 c the formula for the day of the week is w equals d plus e plus f plus g plus g 4 mod 7 display style w equals left d plus e plus f plus g plus left l floor frac g 4 right r floor right bmod 7 where the positive modulus is chosen the value of e is obtained from the following table the value of f is obtained from the following table, which depends on the calendar. For the Gregorian calendar, for the Julian calendar. Topic: <laughs> Lewis Carroll's method. Charles Lutwidge Dodgson, Lewis Carroll, devised a method resembling a puzzle, yet partly tabular in using the same index numbers for the months as in the complete table, Julian and Gregorian calendars", above. He lists the same three adjustments for the first three months of non-leap years, one seven higher for the last, and gives cryptic instructions for finding the rest. His adjustments for centuries are to be determined using formulas similar to those for the centuries table. Although explicit in asserting that his method also works for old-style dates, his example reproduced below to determine that, 1676, February 23rd, is a Wednesday only works on a Julian calendar which starts the year on January 1st instead of March 25th as on the old style Julian calendar algorithm take the given date in four portions viz the number of centuries the number of years over the month the day of the month compute the following four items adding each when found to the total of the previous items when an item or total exceeds 7 divide by 7 and keep the remainder only Century item for backquote old style, which ended the 2nd of September 1752, subtract from 18. For backquote new style, which began the 14th of September 1752, divide by 4, take over plus from 3, multiply remainder by 2. Year item, add together the number of dozens, the over plus, and the number of fours in the over plus. Month item, if it begins or ends with a vowel, subtract the number, denoting its place in the year, from 10. This plus its number of days gives the item for the following month. The item for January is 0, for February or March, 3, for December, 12. Day item, the total, thus reached, must be corrected, by deducting 1, first adding 7, if the total be 0, 
If the date be January or February in a leap year, remembering that every year, divisible by four, is a leap year, excepting only the century years, in backquote new style, when the number of centuries is not so divisible e The final result gives the day of the week, zero, meaning Sunday, one, Monday, and so on. Examples 1783, September 1817, divided by four, leaves, one, over, one from three gives, two, twice two is, four. 83 is six dozen and eleven, giving seventeen, plus two gives nineteen, i.e., dividing by seven, five, total nine, i.e., two. The item for August is, eight from ten, i.e., two. So, for September, it is, 2 plus 31, i.e., 5, total 7, i.e., 0, which goes out. 18 gives, 4, answer, Thursday. 1676, February 23, 16 from 18 gives, 2. 76 is 6 dozen and 4, giving 10, plus 1 gives 11, i.e., 4. Total. 6. The item for February is 3. Total 9, i.e., 2. 23 gives 2. Total 4. Correction for leap year gives 3. Answer Wednesday. Since the 23rd of February 1676, counting February as the second month, is for Carol the same day as Gregorian the 4th of March 1676. He fails to arrive at the correct answer, namely Friday, for an old style date that on the Gregorian calendar is the same day as the 5th of March 1677. Had he correctly assumed the year to begin on the 25th of March, his method would have accounted for differing year numbers, just like George Washington's birthday differs between the two calendars. It is noteworthy that those who have republished Carroll's method have failed to point out his error, most notably Martin Gardner. In 1752, the British Empire abandoned its use of the old style Julian calendar upon adopting the Gregorian calendar, which has become today's standard in most countries of the world. For more background, see Old Style and New Style Dates. Topic implementation Dependent methods in the C language expressions below, Y, M and D are, respectively, integer variables representing the year e.g., 1988, month 1–12 and day of the month 1–31, D plus equals M in 1990, Michael Keith and Tom Craver published the foregoing expression that seeks to minimize the number of keystrokes needed to enter a self-contained function for converting a Gregorian date into a numerical day of the week. It preserves neither y nor d, and returns zero. <inaudible> Sunday, 1 Monday, etc. Shortly afterwards, Hans Lachmann streamlined their algorithm for ease of use on low-end devices. As designed originally for four function calculators, his method needs fewer keypad entries by limiting its range either to AD 1905 to 2099 or to historical Julian dates. It was later modified to convert any Gregorian date, even on an abacus. On Motorola 68000 based devices, there is similarly less need of either processor registers or opcodes, depending on the intended design objective. Topic Sakamoto's methods The tabular forerunner to Tondering's algorithm is embodied in the following K and RC function. With minor changes, it was adapted for other high-level programming languages such as APL2. Posted by Tomohiko Sakamoto on the comp.lang.c Usenet newsgroup in 1992, it is accurate for any Gregorian date. Day of week y, m, d, in the UK. Asterisk, static in t equals 0, 3, 2, 5, 0, 3, 5, 1, 4, 6, 2, 4, y equals m return y plus y, 4 y, 100 plus y, 400 plus t m1 plus d percent 7. Topic: Rada die. IBM's Rada die method requires that one knows the key day of the proleptic Gregorian calendar i.e. the day of the week of January 1, AD 1 its first date. This has to be done to establish the remainder number based on which the day of the week is determined for the latter part of the analysis. 
by using a given day August 13, 2009 which was a Thursday as a reference, with base and n being the number of days and weeks it has been since 1 January 01 to the given day, respectively and k the day into the given week which must be less than 7, base is expressed as base equals 7 n plus k i. Knowing that a year divisible by 4 or 400 is a leap year while a year divisible by 100 and not 400 is not a leap year, a software program can be written to find the number of days. The following is a translation into C of IBM's method for its REXX programming language. Int daystotal int y, int m, int d static char datab 2 13 equals 0, 31, 28, 31, 30, 31, 30, 31, 31, 30, 31, 30, 31, 0, 31, 29, 31, 30, 31, 30, 31, 31, 30, 31, 30, 31, int daystotal equals d for int year equals 1, year int max underscore month equals year in leap. Topic year percent four equals zero. If year percent one hundred equals equals zero and in year percent four hundred equals zero, leap equals zero. For int month equals one month. Daystotal plus equals datab leap month. Return daystotal. It is found that daystotal is seven hundred thirty three thousand six hundred thirty two from the base date January first, A D one. This total number of days can be verified with a simple calculation. There are already 2008 full years since the 1st of January 01. The total number of days in 2008 years not counting the leap days is 365 asterisk 2008. Topic: 732920 days. Assume that all years divisible by 4 are leap years. Add 2008 quarters 502 to the total, then subtract the 15 leap days because the years which are exactly divisible by 100 but not 400 are not leap. Continue by adding to the new total the number of days in the first seven months of 2009 that have already passed which are 31 plus 28 plus 31 plus 30 plus 31 plus 30 plus 31. Topic: 212 days and the 13 days of August to get base. 732,920 plus 502 to 20 plus 5 plus 212 plus 13 equals 733,632. What this means is that it has been 733,632 days since the base date. Substitute the value of base into the above equation I to get 733,632. Topic 7 asterisk 104,804 plus 4 n 104,804 and k equals 4 which implies that August 13, 2009 is the fourth day into the 104,805th week since 1 January 01, the 13th of August 2009 is Thursday, therefore, the first day of the week must be Monday, and it is concluded that the first day 1 January 01 of the calendar is Monday. Based on this, the remainder of the ratio base, 7, defined above as k, decides what day of the week it is. If k equals 0, it's Monday, k equals 1 it's tuesday etc equals topic see also equals doomsday rule julian day mental calculation world cup has a calendar calculation contest perpetual calendar buddhist calendar <laughs>